Hey, what's up guys? This is Crafty Fox, and today we'll be finishing off the Go Transit train. So here is the MPI MP40 PH-3C, and it's a diesel locomotive that you can hook up to your Go Transit uh, cars. You can see these are uh, Bombardier bi-level coaches. I already have a tutorial on them. Uh, so you can assemble them into a train set. Uh, in the animation I had, I was using an older model. You know, uh, this one I improved the design from what it was before and uh, yeah this is uh, pretty much what it looks like oh yeah if you don't know go transit is a commuter rail in Toronto so I guess there's a couple people from there who want me to make it so all right to begin we're gonna take gray concrete go to the tracks and add a two by three right on top of it add one to the sides then uh, we're going to go to the middle here and we're going to make it so it's 31 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Alright, and then let's do the same thing in the back that we did in the front. And then we're going to add a coupling in the middle using a uh, stone brick stab. <laughs> I don't know why I say that. And then tripwire hooks on the sides like that. Same thing in the front. And then we're going to add stone brick stairs in the bottom corners. And for the front one, we're going to have one upside down like this. All right, so the back one, just add one to the sides. And then we're going to take, uh, let's see, we're going to take gray concrete, make the middle three blocks wide. So I'm just adding this, making it wider so it fills up the floor of the locomotive. All right. So then we're going to go back to the back, add uh, upside down, stomach says here, and stone brick slab underneath it both sides and then we're going to take a quartz slab and add a row going across right here like this just go across to the other side then this side And after this, I guess we'll add the bogies. So the bogies for this are quite long. <laughs> so we're going to go to the front, skip a block, add two hoppers, skip two blocks, add two hoppers. So I'm just adding the hoppers first. Then we can connect it with uh, stone brick slabs. Like this, just add two in the middle of the hoppers. Go to the back, and then this side, we're going to skip two blocks. So skip two from this, then two hoppers. Skip two, two hoppers. Then we're going to add a stone brick slab connecting each other. And then we're going to go to the front one, uh, skip two blocks, and add a two by three. Then we're going to skip a block here and add a uh, three by six. So it's six blocks long. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so let me connect the boxes together. And then for this side, we're going to use a wither skeleton skull. Just add two of them sticking out like this. Then we're going to take uh, stone brick stairs, add that to the sides like this both sides and this side it does have a ladder right here so let's add that so we're going to replace the slab with a stone brick stairs and a slab underneath all right so then we could go uh, to the front uh, let's add uh, some green some green wool so make an L shape like this both sides then this sort of goes up like a zigzag then uh, we could go, let's add a quartz right here, like this, like a V-shape, green in the middle, the next layer, quartz, with uh, another brick slab in the middle, double, another brick slab, 
And on top of that double nether brick slab is a white carpet. Alright, so then we're going to take a uh, white quartz and just add four blocks here. So one, two, three, four. Have one stick up like this. One, two, three, four. Have one stick up like this. And then green wool like this. Uh, let's make a two by two right here and then add one right here. Same thing on the other side. And then have another one stick up right here. Alright, and then we're going to take uh, quartz stairs, add one to the sides like so. Then we're going to take a uh, black stained glass block, add three in the middle, at the very front, add one to the sides. Then next we're going to add a black stained glass pan right here. <clears throat> Man, my voice is getting out. I need water. Alright, so then we're going to take a uh, ladder. An actual Minecraft ladder add that to the bottom right here just for, for like a uh, vent detail then we're gonna add uh, two upside down uh, quartz stairs right here this is to get up to the cab uh, door which we're gonna make right now iron door place that on top all right so uh, let's go to the back add uh, this iron bars to them both sides then next we're going to add uh, green wool in the middle so three then green wool on the sides and this will extend all the way to uh, the stairs right here so let's do that right now and I am awfully tired right now so after this thing I'm just gonna go to sleep alright so after we do this layer we're going to add a quartz layer on top of that. So it's just this go transit color scheme we have going on. And I have built other MPI locomotives before, but this, even though it's kind of like the same bases, I had to change a bunch of stuff because that you don't even notice. All right, so after we do that, add a two block tall uh, layer once again, but this time green wool like this. Because I did have like the Caltrain one, I believe, I'm not even sure what uh, other one I had. Maybe it's just the Caltrain one, I don't know. <laughs> or was it the Caltrain one? Okay, almost done here. Alright, so after we do that, uh, we're going to take a uh, quartz slab. Just add this L shape in the front, like this. And then uh, right there in the front is a stone brick slab. Or just a stone slab in the middle, followed by a stone brick slab. And then we're going to add stone brick slab to the side right here. Then stone brick stairs. Like this, right on top of this iron door facing forward. Alright, then we're going to take uh, quartz. Add uh, four blocks here, both sides. And I just fell. One, two. Three. That is really bad placing. Four. On this side, I guess because I'm getting tired. <laughs> all right, then there's gonna be these vents right here. They're all uh, nether brick stairs, and that's gonna be uh, three. Skip two, four. One, two, three, four. Then skip two, add one. I mean, add three. Wait a minute, no. <laughs> then we're gonna skip one, add three. Skip one, add three. And skip two, add two. Right, and then we're gonna take a stone brick stairs and just fill in the gaps between it and at the very end, like here. All right, same thing uh, both sides. So let's just uh, match it up right now. Another brick stairs. 
All right, and then we're gonna take uh, green, add that to the back on top, make it a bit taller. And then we're gonna work on the back a bit. We're gonna make <laughs> this door, which is, I can't, I couldn't use a regular Minecraft door because it's on the edge. So where would I even place it? I don't know, it would be inside, but I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna replace this quartz with a black stained glass block. So you could pretend that's a door. And then there's like a light in the middle on top. So we're gonna to skip two right here. Or rather skip one and then add a stone button in the middle. Uh, redstone torches on the side because we do have these red lights. And uh, then we're gonna add some stuff on top, okay? And that's gonna be uh, green, green wall here, three blocks, and then also fill this in. And then there's gonna be an iron trap door right here for the horn. And then there will be a exhaust right here. So I'm gonna use black concrete for that. Add one there, and then a C shape with the green, or not the green, the gray, the gray concrete. And then, <laughs> We're going to add iron bars right here. This is going to be like an invisible door almost. So there is iron bars right here. Just on this side, like where the, the ladder is. And also add one alongside the doors. Like this. Both sides. And then we can add a sign in the front. I think this is like where they have the number plate. And then we're going to add redstone torches. Just fill in the rest of this row with it and uh, after we do that we're gonna take let's see a uh, green why am I saying green gray gray concrete add in between these uh, stone brick stairs I believe yeah so just connect them all <clears throat> all right so after we do that we're gonna take uh, what is this nether brick stairs and try to make like these circle shapes so how are you even supposed to do this like okay I get it now so uh, we're gonna add like this facing inwards on the sides while in the middle we're gonna have yeah it's just uh Another brick stairs right here facing back to back. Then another back to back one, I believe. Yep. And then the next one is going to be a little bit different. I think I made this even bigger for some reason. So for this, uh, looks like this looks like a slab. Okay, it was. So add slabs in the corners. Right, let's uh, make two of them at the same time since they're pretty much the same thing. And then we're gonna add uh, stairs facing forward. And then next, underneath these iron trap doors, our gray concrete sole. Let's fill in this middle part in. Then we're gonna add, yeah, pretty much nether brick stairs alongside it. This side, other side. All right, so let's cap it off with iron trap door. Two of them on these holes. All right, for the last one, we're gonna add <laughs> another brick stairs like this, facing inwards, and the middle one is just back to back. Another brick stairs like so. All right, so uh, one last detail. Uh, we're gonna take a green uh, wool and make the Go Transit logo right here in the back. Kind of blends in with the stripes, but oh well. So to do this, we would go to the back bogey where the hopper meets uh, the stone brick slab. That's where it is, so where the hopper meets the stone brick slab near the front. Add that, replace it. Same thing on this side. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it on how to build the Go Transit MPI MP40 PH-3C. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already, because I will be uploading more tutorial videos in the future. 
and I already have the Go Transit video so you can have like this full train. Uh, sorry, it's been quite a long time in the making. It's been a month since I made uh, the Rolling Stock video. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.